Hi, I'm George, and we're going to be colorizing this black and white photo. And the first thing I like to do is to go up here to Enhance, and we'll give it a try here with the colorized photo. Sometimes this works great, sometimes it doesn't work at all. Depends upon the picture. We should be okay here. Click on this, we'll let it think about this, figure it out. There you go. Actually, that looks great first shot. On the right-hand side, it will give you four options in here, two warms and two cools. Just come down, click on each one, and see how it looks. That's not too bad. Let's try this first one again. First one's more natural. I think I like the more vibrant colors of the second one. And the blues, I'm not really that happy about because there really should be more greens in there. So go for this one here. And if you want to, you can use the manual mode. But I haven't had that much success with this. Basically, you come in here and you use one of these two tools to select the area that you want to colorize. And you can add or subtract from a selection right here. Then place a droplet down, and that just defines that area. You can then choose from colors in here and adjust your colors right down there. Again, I haven't had that much luck with this particular part of the tool, so we're not going to use it here. Go back to auto again. Looks good. Now, when you're happy, you can double check here before and after. I think that looks good. Choose OK. And it then takes it over into expert mode where we can actually fix the other problems. There are a couple of problems in here. Right over here, this arm has lost its coloration right here. This hand is green. We don't want to have that. There's a little bit of green up in the hair up here. I think we can fix that as well. Let's start off with this hand. I think that's the worst of everything. So I'll grab the zoom tool and we'll move in on this. Now the idea here is to make a good selection and then color balance this specifically to match the arm right back in there. And there's a couple ways of doing that. I'll show you my way. We'll start off by trying just to use a quick selection brush here and bring the brush size way down like that. And let's see if we can get a good copy off of this. Not too bad. Let's see if we can get the section in here. We may lose a bit there. Yeah, that's not really great. So I'll clean this up with a different tool. Go up here to our standard lasso tools and I'll grab the polygonal and the subtract. And let's just subtract the parts that we don't need in here. That's this section right in through here. There we go. And we'll come down to the same thing right around the bottom side of this finger over here. And just putting in just little clicks, click puts in a dot, and then Photoshop Elements fills in the line to connect those dots. Now take your time with this tool. If you click too fast, it's going to collapse your selection and you don't want that. I'm gonna cut that straight off right here. We'll finish the other one with the second pass. And right back to here again. There we go, that's out of the way. Let's get this leaf out of here. You can just come in, just carefully click in and make your selection. And right down this side and back down to the beginning. And there we go. And that gets that out of there. We have this bottom section down in here. Let's see if we can get this out of here. The hands right there. There's a little leaf in there. Let's go around that leaf and then right around up in here. Then out and around and take out that section. Okay, I think that's it. There's a little bit right here. I want to get the tip of the finger here. Let's just change this to add. And we'll get just that little tip right down here. And back around to the beginning. And there we go. Now what I like to do here is to copy this part out to a new layer so that I'm not disturbing my original. It makes it easier to do any color balancing. So we'll do layer, come down to new and via copy. There we go. We could try a few things. Let's first let's see if we can just kind of color adjust. If not, I have a different technique for this. So layer, adjustment layer, hue saturation. It says use previous layer. Check that. Choose OK. And let's see if we can adjust the coloration here. And I think that's going to work out pretty good. Just putting it a bit more towards the reds in there, maybe bring the saturation down just a little bit. And I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so that hand's taken care of. Let's now hold the space bar down, move over here, and let's take care of this wrist. Exact same technique over here. Now this time, these lines in here, these leaves are pretty dark. So I think we can just leave those in and colorize that whole section. The same exact trick, come back down here to that background copy, our colorized copy. This time I'll just grab the basic polygonal lasso tool. And let's come in and grab this right along the edge of that leaf. I 
think that's a good spot. And up this side, and right up this edge of this tree trunk, and right across there. I think we can work with that as is. So once again, layer and new via copy. And I'm going to put an adjustment layer on top of that. Use saturation, check that checkbox, choose OK. And let's see if we can tweak our colors a bit here. Just a little bit over there, a little bit more saturation. And I think that looks pretty good right there. That solves that one. Okay, one more spot. Pull the space bar down. And let's check her hair up here. It's going really green up here. I mean, it's almost correct, almost as if it's getting colorized by reflected light off of the leaves up here. So it's probably actually pretty accurate, but I still want to get some of that green out of there. So same trick, background copy. Let's make a selection. This is going to be just a loose selection right around the hair here. I won't worry about any of that hair flying out. That doesn't matter. Again, when you're using this tool, just do a click and reposition and then click and then reposition. Don't click too fast. It will collapse your selection. You don't want to have that happen. And when I'm coming in the inside, I'm going to follow a line in here and kind of cut across right there. But again, following lines, just in case anything shows up that will help to hide it. And right up around in here. There we go. And follow this down just a little ways. And that hairline right there. And then back up where we started. We'll do that section. I think this will be okay. Layer new via copy. Same exact trick. Layer adjustment layer. Hue saturation. And this time I want to just remove some green in here. So let's just change this over here to greens. And let's bring the saturation down on the greens and see if that solves it. Okay, I don't really see anything happening on that. So green's not doing it. If that doesn't work, set this back to zero and let's try the cyans. And saturation down. Still not working. So in that case, let's go back to the master and we'll try adjusting our coloration in here. Just a little bit to the left. Now it's not working down there at all. That's wrong. Up here it is working. So I'll show you how to fix that. A little saturation adjustment, and I think that's pretty good right there. Close that down. And now I want to remove some of this stuff in here, but to make it so I don't mess things up, I'm gonna be putting a layer mask on this layer, layer mask button right here. Now with the layer mask, black hides, white shows. So let's grab black and paintbrush. I want a soft edge. That's pretty good, pretty large soft edge on there, it's black. I'm just gonna come in here and just slowly paint black onto the layer mask and just work my way back up into the hair, taking out that one bit that has gone pink on us. And there we go, that works. That looks much better with taking out a lot of that green in there. Okay, let's come back to fit screen. And there we go, I think we've done a good job on this one. Again, the original colorize tool works great mostly, but you will have to come back in and do a little bit of tweaking with it to get the best possible look. And my channel is 100% fan supported. If you want to help support my channel, help me make more videos in the future, then consider taking a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements, or take a look at supporting me over on Patreon. I have links for both of those down there in the description. Make sure you check out my channel for more great videos, and I'll see you next time.